how do you like the state of like Atlanta hip hop right now? I don't like it. Really? Why I don't not? like it. Ain't no, ain't, it's dry right now. Ain't no, ain't no real. I don't know. Maybe because I'm, I don't know. I don't want to look at it as like I'm getting older. Like, I mean, I know, nigga, what, real, I know what real Atlanta is supposed to sound like. Like, this shit whack right now. Like, ain't no real. Who out right now in Atlanta? Name somebody right now that's popping. I'm talking about popping, not that local little Instagram little shit here and there. I'm talking about some real. Lil shit. still going crazy. I don't know, man. Little um, baby, little baby, I don't know. Why y'all being so hard on little baby, man? Y'all because he cause the last album went to me it didn't it went in no shit for real. I mean, you know what I think? It it be a lot of it be a lot of like yes men around, like. You do a song, motherfucker, gonna say it's it's hard because it's who it is. Like tell that nigga, that shit wet, bro. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So, shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So, if you see me on the gram, posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So, look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way, you know. Like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. Yo, it's Pop. You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, J. Hill Podcast. We are in the building. Hopefully, you heard some of my guy's story, man. We got uh, Legendary. Are you calling yourself producer? Like, what are we calling it? What's the name to it? I don't ever want to put a name on it. Just Will of Fool. Will of Fool is here. He don't want to yeah. put a name to it. I'm going to say legendary Platinum producer. Platinum producer, yeah. Platinum producers in the building. Like, I mean, this guy got hits. I mean, hits on hits on hits. Yes, I do. Right? We yep. talking about Future. We talking about Rod Wave. I mean, it's uh, Y Fan Lucci. Lucci. Like, it's, it's, it, oh, it, all you do is research. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, everybody always does. Okay, man. Bro, what up, dog? Like, I, how you? I'm I'm good. Dog. You good, good, man? Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm good. That's I'm good, smooth. man. That's good. Um, yo, like I was I, I was asking, like I don't ever want to put a um a label on you, right? I want you to put a label on yourself. And I was talking to somebody. I was in this meeting, and somebody had asked me to introduce myself, and I had a hard time doing it. Mm -hmm. So uh, from then on, I just want to like start by asking you to introduce. Just like, who are you? Who would you say you are if I was a, if I was to ask you like, who are you? Multi platinum producer, Will of Fool, Gold, multi platinum, <laughs> super producer, whatever you want to put on it, you know, mm. producer. Mm. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Why though? Like, do you you understand how like how much you just missed? Like, I feel like, and I I'll explain why I say. Okay. I feel like sometimes, especially as men, mm -hmm. we get lost in the work mm -hmm. for our identity. You right? right. Like we 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 miss we let our our work identifies as as people right so like and i do that too mm -hmm. and i was curious like to see how you introduce yourself and you're like man multi platinum producer like you know what i'm saying well the fool like yeah but there's so much more to you than that yeah like if you want to go deeper yeah you know but um i mean father figure i mean mm -hmm. uh mentor um you should be a chef <laughs> yeah <laughs> what the f bro <laughs> Oh Lord, yeah, I used to be like some not not no real deal one though, you know. But uh I was working at this hotel in um in Buckhead, the Embassy Suites Hotel. Mm -hmm. And um some old weak ass man, you know, just to make some money. Wait, was that um was that uh You know the big the dudes with the white on and yeah, 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 right yeah, there yeah, be like yeah, three yeah. or four of them out yeah. on them, you know what I mean? Okay. That yeah. wasn't Roof Chris, right? Or not Roof Chris, you know Roof Chris right next to it, but you know the the hotel itself has it's own complimentary breakfast. You know, you come down and, you know, you get breakfast from what, four, five in the morning to about 11. Mm. And then it shut down. Okay. Yeah. So was you was you a sous chef or just regular chef? Just regular. Okay. Like breakfast, just regular breakfast. You ain't really take it serious? I mean, I, nah, I didn't take it serious like that. Like, I I liked it. It was fun. But 
you know. Because you did the, um, I asked that because like, shout out to my producer, man. Shout out to uh, my guy Joe on the boards right now. Mm -hmm. He helped me with this. You did the um, the chef and what, cooking up with, uh, what was it? Cook, cook, cooking up beats? Like that wasn't like chef inspired? Yeah, yeah, you could say that, yeah. I was say that, yeah. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, not somebody came up with that, you know, and it just stuck, you know, with, with us producers, so, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I ask you, like, who you are, man, and you, like, man, multi-platinum producer, mm -hmm. you emphasize that for a reason. Do you think people overlook you, or? I don't think it's that. I think it's just I haven't really put myself in, in on the forefront to let people know, like, hey, this is wheel here you know what i mean mm -hmm. like i like you said i just got so buried into the work you know and i really just just deep in love with being in the studio you know what i'm saying i never really just stood out you know got outside of that and really just marketed myself the way i needed to mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because marketing and branding is like most important you know mm -hmm. what i mean like coca-cola like it's been around forever you know what i'm saying because the way they market and brand it the, the brand, you know what I mean? So I think that's what I, I know that's what I need to do for myself. Like brand, brand myself more and market myself more. Get out here and, you know, do interviews and, you know. I feel, when did we come to this though? I feel like at a time, producers really ain't care about having that face out there. I feel like we see that a lot now. Dude. I don't think it's that. I think it's, I don't think, I don't think it's some, you got some that are introvert, you know, they don't really, I don't consider myself that, you know what I mean? I just, Love working, you know yeah. what I mean? I just but I love. feel like that's how producers was not to cut you off. Mm -hmm. I feel like at a time, I feel like maybe, and again, I, I'm I'm not that old, but I feel like we was introduced to like the super producer with his face all in the camera, like P. Diddy, maybe oh, yeah. Manny Fresh. Yeah, right? you like, got I feel like he probably one of the first. Yeah, you got Timberland. Timberland was yeah, he was like that. Yeah, he was. They was like the the the. They was like originators, more the of, like, originators yo, I'm of being and yeah, on like Dr. Type. Dre and all of that, like. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, like, you feel like it's necessary to to get your face out there? Yeah, like, yeah, like, because it's, it's, it's more opportunities come along with that. Like, you got people that want to, like, give you, endorse you, you know, you got all type of, you get all type of deals and all type of opportunities, you know, when you brand and market yourself the right way. Mm. And you're, you know, and I'm attached to a lot of big, you know, that I've done, like, that's still, you know, moving to this day, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, why not? you know, expand business. You know what I mean? Yo, how easy was it coming up in Atlanta, man? Because, like, being an outsider. Where you from? From Baltimore. So, Ooh. Yeah, from Baltimore. I got family out there. So, like, we always be like, man, we always got, we got to we gotta come together like Atlanta. And then I come in Atlanta, like, that wasn't really the case. Like, I got I got some homies from Baltimore. They come down. They they live here. They've been living here for a while. Who? Who? Um, Rappers or? They rap. What's their name? Um, Mo and, um... The Young Hungry Money Monsters. Mo and um dang, Fat Rod. They from Baltimore. Yeah. Probably don't know him. But it was another guy. If they from got, Baltimore, then I love him. I think he got killed though. Too raw. Yeah. You familiar with him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was working with him. Um John the Baptist. I heard about him. Yeah, John the Baptist. Like it was a whole little crew they had. Oh, you know but they, some, they some real yeah, yeah. some real y'all some real though. Baltimore, so y'all, it's some real in Baltimore. It's a lot of real. And y'all, hey, you know what? One thing about y'all, Baltimore, though, not even just make it. You know what I mean? Like switching it, but y'all, Baltimore, y'all like something and respect it. Y'all gonna, y'all yeah. gonna get a proper sure like, love. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we don't be on that fake like industry. That's why I feel like we don't we don't make it in the industry. I feel like it's a, it's a sense of like being too real. Mm -hmm. Where I feel like um, where I'm from, like I always say, like you'll know if somebody don't fuck with you. Yeah. All right, but a spot like Atlanta, New York, uh, New, um, I don't know, LA, <clears throat> it's like, if I don't fuck with you, I'm going to be around you enough just to get what I can get from you. And it's yeah. not like that in Baltimore. Like, they ain't fuck what you want all in all. No, yeah, and you're going to know it. And another thing I love about Baltimore is like, I guess for me, it's like, you can't really cap on the internet. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, be like saying they this and that, they that and all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Because like, they gonna tell you like they gonna be, everybody gonna be on the internet. They gonna expose you like this guy, man. This this man, I say he this and that. Mm -hmm. So like I love that part too. But yeah. it is what it is. But back to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. You coming up in Atlanta, starting your producing career. Like how how 
how easy or challenging? Because I don't want it to say easy. Because I, I assume it would be easy because there's so many superstars out here. How how man, how was it for well, you to like jump off the porch, so to say? Man, well, it wasn't easy. I ain't going to say it was easy. It was a lot of, it was a lot of ups and downs and, you know, bumps in the road. And shit. Like, at the time, it wasn't many of us around. So that was a good thing. Mm. Many had, of us around like what? Like producers. Like, okay. Like, well... Not say producers, but uh, 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 like me, you could come to the house, you you could get a beat, record, you know what I mean, and do all that. Like paint the picture for me though, for the people that don't know. When you say men of us, who was who was your era? Like you got producers? like um, huh? Oh shit, man! Thank you, man. Is it gone? Hmm. Thank you. So paint 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 the picture for me. So when you say it wasn't many like us, like yeah, who was the many. era of producers that you came up with? Okay, um, you had uh DJ Plug. You could go to his spot, you could get a beat, record. You had you was it was me, same thing, Mercy. Um, pretty much from my side of town. Mm. You know what I mean? That's those were like the only three. Well, yeah, the only three that you could really go to, you know what I mean? So if one or the other wasn't available, you was coming to, you know what I mean? What year was this? It was like, ooh, it was like 2009, 2010, 2009, I think. Yeah, like 2009. This is like prime Gucci era. Man, it's like, yeah. Right? Jeezy, all that. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like prime. So I'm assuming like Zaytoven is around. Zaytoven been around. He yeah. been around since what? 2006? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you say many of us wasn't around, you saying like <coughs> every all the producers that was around at that time was like superstars, I'm assuming. They well, was already into... up, they was already gone. They told me and all them, like to like from my perspective, they was already up through there. You know what I mean? Okay. So it wasn't many, like they were out of reach. Like you couldn't, like if you didn't have a bread, like you didn't have the money, you you weren't you weren't getting no beat or no type of like what's up from them. You know what I mean? They was already Gone, you know what I mean? Lex Luger. Yeah, Lex. Um, I remember Lex Luger. Southside. Mm-hmm. Um, it was probably it. Lex Luger had the game on smash. Yeah, that was around at that time. time. That was at the time. Cause he used to do the mixtapes and everything, right? Yeah. Damn, With that Walker was a time. Ross, yeah, that was a time. All that. Okay, so when you said you came around because Future was around then too. He was, but he was like that was, see, I was still in high school. So, Future was in a group called the Connect, if if I'm not mistaken. He was in a group. I don't know if anybody know that, but he was yeah, in a group. I, I'm, yeah. yeah, he was in a group called the Connect, and um, he had some hood some hood songs going around. You know, the, the skating ring was all on the radio, but I didn't know him at the time. I was in school. Mm -hmm. So, about 2009, a year or two after school, I started really getting into it seriously. You know what I mean? So... I just got to thinking like one day, like, man, it ain't too many motherfuckers out here doing in my in my side, like in my era area, I mean, you know, the west side, like, it wasn't too many like you could go to and record. Like you had bad the barbershop, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't too many out there besides him. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to monopolize this. I'm gonna try to do more than just record you. I'm gonna make a beat, mix it, all this type of shit. You know what I mean? And get more get more people to come to my spot and the word of mouth spread. So was Future the first person you, like, you got your big No, nah, I was a lot of local in the, in, the, in the hood and shit. Who was, like, your first big break? My first big break? Um, yeah, Future was. So Future how was. did you manage to, like, go from not doing nothing? Because what's what's out? 2010 Future, what's out? <coughs> Dirty Sprite. Dur Dirty Sprite. All the mixtapes that was hitting, he was hitting. Dirty was, Sprite. Yeah. In Atlanta, from what I heard, mm. was probably one of the hottest... Man, you couldn't go nowhere without hearing it. So how did you, for, new into this, no real experience, no nobody really know you, how did you end up working with Future, who was like the hottest thing smoking? The, the thing, okay, because I had some I had some local hits, you know, that was going crazy in the, in the city. Like what? Um, You familiar with Johnny Cinco? Nah. Johnny Cinco? You familiar with Johnny Cinco? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um... We did this song called Ask Your Ho About Me. 
and the sh- the sh- went crazy, bro. The sh- went crazy. It was all over like the south side, like southwest side. Like it, it, it just started to spread like crazy, and it started leaking over to the east side. And um, Johnny Seco, he sent him the song. He sent Future the song. So- Future like, man, I gotta get on this. Sh- I gotta get on it. This sh- hot. I gotta get on this sh- right now. So. The next day, he the next day, future pull up to the spot. He pulled mm. up to my spot, and he he knocked the verse out like two minutes. Mm. Knocked the verse out, boom. So he like, man, you know, I want, I need, I need them beats, bro. Like, I need to f- with you. I'm like, cool. We exchange numbers and shit like that. And what was the first one that that went crazy? Was it my savages or? Nah, my savages came way later. What was the first one? Tony Montana. Sheesh. Yeah. Was he on that by himself? That wasn't. He was on that by himself. That was what. Um, he he. Well, see, he he was on it by himself, and then he put Drake on it. So that's like you still own it. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. You not rich from that? Yeah, like he said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, like hell yeah, that man, that my like like. Hell that was yeah. the best ass ever. Hell <laughs> yeah. You felt that like, like you said, nigga, yeah. Hell yeah, like, man, that shit. So that's that that shit still bring you money in? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that shit do. Damn. Hell yeah, like, like owning your publishing, that shit is important, bro. Like, I don't know why people be just giving that shit away, cause like, man, that shit get added to like. I think Tony Montana recently it just got added to a boxing match. Mm. So like they pay you for that, like they pay you cash, like straight cash. You never thought shit. about like um like leasing it, cause I know a lot of people do the leasing, leasing. deals. I I, I'm, I got I might have a situation for you too. I know somebody. <coughs> I don't know. We I mean shit. I never I never. Um, we're talking about the athlete. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna put you on game. Yeah. I'm really gonna put you on game for real. I yeah. did that, but that's another conversation. Yeah. But um, okay. So, damn, you do, Tony Montana. Yeah, Tony Montana. He put Drake on there. He put Drake on that bitch. At this moment, like, what are you thinking? Like, when when you hit it Drake. It still ain't hit me, though. It ain't hit me, like. How not? I don't oh, know. Nine? Like, it didn't what, hit me. What year was it? Like, 2012? 2010. 2010? Mm-hmm. When he do Tony Montana, he put Drake on there? Two, yeah. 2010 is what? Take Care, right? Because Take Care came out 2009. I think so. We, that's anticipation. <laughs> like, we're, that's, that's, that's like Drake peak. We like. We anticipated Drake. He dropped Take Care. Mm-hmm. He's smoking right now. Mm-hmm. So you mean to tell me he put Drake on and it still ain't hit you? Nah, I didn't, bro. Like, I wasn't even on Drake at the time like that. Okay. So I'm on some not knowing, like, the like the level of Hold where up. Drake at. You feel me? Damn, I'm this, still a hood nigga. This at the, conversation you know what I mean? Got, this shit just turned off. I'm up. on some hood nigga shit. So it's like, okay, it's... A, it's so you know light skinned nigga on the on the, I don't on the shit. Just, I don't know. I don't think you just understood what you the conversation just unlocked. So we we hear this uh this this conversation about how like Drake gave niggas <coughs> Grammys right mm-hmm. and how like r- Drake really put on a lot of niggas and I'm one of the people that that said it right. Mm-hmm. But recently I was talking to Wayne though and he was explaining how like just as much as as Drake had an impact on future career as he had an impact on 21 Savage career as and so on and so on yeah we overlook the impact that future had on Drake career mm-hmm. and it's crazy because you said like bro like you thinking I don't know who this nigga is yeah. like some lights nigga skin nigga whole they, time they reached out to him though they reached out to Drake but whole, if I'm mistaken but, yeah. but but whole time though is a million people like you that's probably that was probably in the hood and didn't know who this light skin nigga was mm I wasn't known to him like that, but then when I started to realize, like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I understand now what why the why the play was made like that. Mm. You know what I mean? Cause Drake, Drake that nigga right now, bro. Yeah. Like, like people try to give him, you know, hell and they try to downplay like what he's done for the culture. Like, y'all call it what y'all want. The numbers don't lie. Yeah. You feel me? So he dropped that Drake's Drake gets on it. You say it ain't even hit you yet. It didn't even hit me yet. Like so now, what do you it, like in this moment? Where are you at mentally? Like I'm still, you, I'm still. I didn't, I didn't. You know, it take a minute for everything to like really. I I'm still working in the studio. We like that shit. That shit on the radio. Me and Future still in the studio. Like we still putting shit together. Mm. So. I'm on the inside making the storm. Like I ain't on the outside. Looking at what I did, you feel me? So it's like another day, you know what I mean? 
Damn, bro. That's... Jeez. But then when I started to see people, the way they was reacting to it, like I would go out, I would hear this shit in like cars every day, every day. Like I'm out. I'm like, man, this shit's crazy. Like, In that moment, did you have a tag? I did. I did. I had a tag at the time. I'm like, damn, I did this shit in like five minutes. So how did and like, did you blow up too as the producer or did, hell did you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like my name, like it's more, it's big in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could go to any label, any room, like, people know mm. my name. You know what I mean? It's just more like, I want to make it more of like a public. Yeah. Like you feel a, me? Like a um, Take Keep. Yeah. Like, like a, uh, I don't know. For um, real. Forever Roll. Yeah. Like, for real. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that's a, yeah. Yeah. So, like, in the industry, like, you, my name is. How do you yeah. think that happens, though? Like, how do you think the producers get so popular? They, I don't know, man. I think it's they might, they probably they trading something for it. Cause some of them like, cause like, cause they ain't nobody about to just make you famous, man. If they can't get nothing out of it, right? I think I don't know. I think if a, a part of it is like a certain sound, mm -hmm. because like, bro, you just says here you got shit with future, shit with Drake, shit with like it's it's. Just... But you but you gotta think though, it's all type of producers out here that are really good mm -hmm. and don't care about that. They just want the money, but. Fame is different. Fame is money within itself. Mm -hmm. So when you want that, you know what I mean? That's a whole different monster you got to deal with. Mm. And that come with a price to pay, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But you want it. I mean, to a certain extent, though. You know what I mean? But I can't help it if it come and come. Yeah. You know what I mean? If it just be like some wild, crazy-ass fame, I, I just have to deal with it. Shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. What Drake said, he said more, they say more money's more problems. Well, fuck it, bring on the problems. It damn sure That's how, Fuck it, bring on the problems. It, uh, damn, man. Yo, so all right, so after that, what 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 happened next? And how long? Like what was what was the next hit that happened <clears throat> and how long did it take? Um You did some was was scooter too? Yeah, all them like scooter, casino, um man, it's uh, the list is so Yo, long. Tell man. me the scooter era. I'm trying he, to get they gems was, right here. Like, I, okay, I don't say be before, stingy with before, the before Tony Montana, right? Future dropped his mixtape called No Mercy. I don't know if anybody you know about. I heard No Mercy. Mercy, yeah, No Mercy. Um, like him, if wherever Future at, Scooter there. So I'm doing everything for Scooter at the time and Future at the time. They getting all my shit. Like they just, they just. Basically, just took my hard drive. Like, they got all my shit. They recording on it, putting everything out. You know what I mean? So, Scooter Era, he was right there. You feel me? He was right there. So, all right, wait, before that, but hold on, hold on. Because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, you got to, don't be selfish with this, bro. I'm trying to know everything. What you want Before know? Rocco signed Future, right? Mm hmm. How did that happen? Because I ain't having no I conversation don't... with Future right now. So, I'm just curious. I, like, break I that, believe... give me the history lesson. I just, the only thing I know I didn't I don't know like really detail like everything I just know that he was in the mix of like doing something with him because I he needed some help mm -hmm. you feel me he needed some help and like it just wasn't making sense like it wasn't making sense like promoting everything and it he just needed I guess another brain to like make it make sense so he got with Rocco mm -hmm. and then. How was that for Atlanta though? Like, cause I'm just curious, cause my like future's probably like, bro, this nigga's like <clears throat> shit. He did shit, him and Drake neck and neck, to be honest. You, know you what think I'm saying? so? Me personally. I don't know, man. I me don't personally, know, cause why why niggas gotta go to Drake to get that? Get get a feature. So me personally, I don't think so. But I've been in Atlanta for like three years. And in Atlanta, things, you, you can't you, just you ain't gonna better. tell nobody, you can't tell nobody that that Drake better. Nobody. You can't tell nobody yeah, that nobody. Drake better. And I had I learned that and I ain't going down that road again. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah them niggas is the tell same. Nobody Drake better. Them niggas is neck and neck, yes. But um I only I, I ask that because like I'm just trying to figure out from a producer perspective, right? Mm -hmm. When you like you are there, like you are here, like you see it happening. Mm -hmm. So like when you're working with future, you like, man, it ain't hit me yet. I'm like, Nah, that shit ain't hit me. It's How? Just, I don't know. Like, it just, I'm on the inside, like, making this shit happen. And okay, so what's the, after Tony Montana, what's the next thing that happened? Let me think. <coughs> um, He dropped True Story. That's what that was on. Tony Montana was on True Story. Then we dropped 
um, damn, what's that mixed? Streets calling, streets calling. Mm. They was supposed to be with DJ Drama, but it's, they leaked it, and they just said fuck it, put it out. It shut the whole internet down. Like every time he dropped some shit, it just shut down the internet. It was streets calling? Did that? Then it was um what? Did that was crazy. Astronaut status. Oh, you I did think. all of this. Like majority of it. Yeah. Damn. Like majority of that shit. And then it was what? The album, the, the uh, Pluto album. And did like four or five on there. Yo, why you I am trying to figure out like this is crazy. Yeah. This it is, is this shit is crazy. Damn. So you so how long? I ask you, because I'm really like, in my mind, like, I'm like a fan. Like, I like, like, so yeah. when the last, I asked you, when was the last hit you made? And what was it? The last hit I made yeah. to, to date? Yeah. Um, shit. Let me think. That charted? Yeah. Because all these motherfuckers charted shit. They all hit. This nigga is, he's like. They all charted. Bro, he's like oh, but me the almost. I think, like, I he's like, was, bro, uh, like, I you don't was, know uh, what's going on right now. Like, nigga. I think it was already one with Rod Wave and Dirk and then Alone by Rod Wave. So how long from Rod Wave, right? Mm -hmm. From your last hit, was it? From Tony Montana. I, well, not Tony Montana. Like, Rod Wave and then the last one. Whatever the one it was before, before that. that one. Yeah. Damn, what was it? This nigga. Damn. He like it's so many. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. You might as well do it, bro. You know you could do a versus. You yeah, really we can. You, like you really, really that lit. I mean, I know. Like, damn, what was it? Wait, I what? have no clue. What you just say? <laughs> hey, count. Yeah, I did that too. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah. You didn't cut that. Yeah. Yo, what yeah. the fuck? Hell yeah, yeah. Now when that shit hit, that's when it hit me. That's Where the like, I'm, I gotta ask this, bro. And there's no disrespect, bro. Yeah. Why don't the world know about you, bro? Like I said, man, I just I didn't care about all. But the that. work speak for itself, though. It do. How like how do how like I'm just saying how do I overlook you? I'm just like anybody in general. I they they call me the best kept secret. That's do you like that? Me. I I mean I'm cool with it, but you know, it can't be I'm no cool way you it. like that shit. Oh, why Fan Lucci we rock? Yeah. Yeah. I Yo, did that you too. You going crazy, bro. Yeah. No way. Yeah, man. And you and you like this best kept secret shit. I would hate I mean, it. I'm cool with it. It, it ain't something I like, but it's, Fuck man, all it's that. cool. I, I mean, it got a ring. It got a nice little ring secret, to nigga. it, though. That shit don't got no ring to it, nigga, because ain't none of this shit. <laughs> ain't none of this shit a secret. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? What yeah. secret? Nigga, y'all right. sing this shit every day. Right, man. Damn, and that, bro. And, and, you know, I just never really. Put my face out there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wish you nothing but the best, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. what do you like? What's the what's? I'm really talking to you now. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Like, what's what's going on now though? Like, like where where you mentally? I know I asked you like, how you feeling? Where you mentally though? Like when we doing this this, this press Ment run? Like yeah. mentally, like I'm 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 in a good space. I'm in a good space. Why? I'm ready for this. Like I'm ready to you know start for what to to expand business. That's what I'm on. And you know I want everybody to know like. What who Will is and what Will has done and what Will is going to continue to do. You mm. know what I mean? I feel like I was looking, I was I was doing some research for you, and I don't see too much though. Right, cause I I never really cared about that shit. You know what I mean? Like I had like some people come and do like breakdowns and shit. Like when I do them, they do they do like hundreds of thousands of views. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't. I never really stay consistent with it. You know what I mean? Like putting content out. Like, we in that era now where you got to do that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? To, like, stay in the mix of things. Yo, how did you learn um, something with Rod Wave? He called me. He just called me. This nigga's crazy. <laughs> he just called me. He just called me. He got, he got my number and he called me. Yo, so when, you, when that happens, like, what's going through your mind? I'm like, damn, bro, this, this, this one of the hardest niggas out right now. Like, and I'm like, people was just saying it, like, bro, like, if you get with Rod, like y'all gonna do some crazy ass. Y'all gonna do some. Y'all gonna make some hits. And he called me. Hmm. Who because was the um? Who who would you say was the most interesting? I don't want to say best because we need all the relationships. Who mm -hmm. was the most interesting person to work with? <laughs> and why? Um. 
everybody got their own weird ass way of working, man. But uh, I see like the way Future work. That shit, he's like he a robot, dog. That's yeah. some interesting shit to see. Like, like I take you one day and you watch that motherfucker work, bro. You gonna be like, this nigga got to be on drugs or something, like. You funny like, as shit. For real, like, like, I'll take you one day. Where yeah, you like, bro, like, like, bro, like. I don't think niggas understand. I'm sorry, bro. Niggas not. You know how niggas is like a little subtle flex. Like, I'll take you one day, but my <laughs> For real, though. Hey, niggas. Nah, wait, but he's so calm with it. It's like, yeah. this nigga is like, get this nigga the fuck out. Like, it's like. <laughs> nah, for real, though. This nigga is crazy, bro. For real. Like, motherfucker like a robot, dog. Um, um let me see. Everybody else got it just like it depends on how they feeling that day. It don't matter how that nigga feel, man. He going he going to go in there and work, bro. Like, I saw somewhere you said you go in like he kind of work like you. Like you go in and like, like yeah, and like, you make a beat like within like 5 like minutes. A, it's like what you call them shits that people work on the utility or what they call that? The assembly, assembly line, line. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like he like that, bro. Like it's, it's just you get him a beat, he just he ain't gonna stop until all that shit is just done. So when you make a beat, you be you quick with your beats too. Yeah. Like five minutes type shit. Yeah. How? I've been doing music like as a kid. So you know why But that shit's still a lot of components though. No? It is, depending on what you making. But the shit that niggas want nowadays, that shit quick. Let's talk about that for a second. Okay. I was gonna ask you this. How do you feel about sampling? I don't really like it, but I've done it. You know what I mean? And it, I got paid off that shit, dog. Why you don't like, why you don't like it? Because, like, it's, like, basically putting it together. I don't like actually taking the actual sample. I like to actually play it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like taking that shit because... Like mo every time I've done business sampling things, like they always fuck with me. Like I I, I hear a lot of motherfuckers go through hell. It, it probably because the shit whack, mm -hmm. and then they y'all doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at it. Like I sampled something from Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, bro, and they fuck with me. Like I had no problems at all. Everything went smooth. Everything was good. Like they, I was. Hey, I'm I good. guess I asked the question in the sense of like just originality. Like, where do we draw the line from? Like, you know, creativity I mean, and just stealing. Everything. Oh yeah. Oh, if you stealing, I I don't know sampling. I think sampling is a way of paying homage. But like, you got to do it right though. Don't be doing you hopping on sample shit and doing some whack ass shit because it's a lot of that shit going around. Like, niggas is on whack ass samples, sample beats, and that shit. Is it like if you like? I think um, recently somebody just did something to 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 a great song, and they like, nah, that shit. Uh, uh I don't want it. You know, because was was, I can't remember. Shit, I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I do feel like it. I do believe that it needs to be more originality. I think a lot of a lot of these motherfuckers done got lazy, bro. No, fuck. They That's got I lazy, thinking. like. They they don't even want to take the time to be creative anymore. They just wanna they wanna do some Lil Wayne shit. Like Lil Wayne actually at one point in time wrote shit. Mm -hmm. And then it got to a point where like if you're doing, if you're doing that so much, you're gonna morph into some godly like type of shit. What you doing? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like just like like with what you're doing, what I do, like, I wasn't always making beats as fast. You know, in the beginning, you know what I mean. But you do it long enough, and you evolve into some some great shit. What you think about like the producer artist collab nowadays? Producer artist collab, like, yeah, like a Metro Future, like I like that. Like it's always been that, you know, Tim, Aaliyah, Pharrell. But no, the actual like we know that, right? But like projects together, like we don't trust you. Like that's a whole Future and Metro collab. Like we we've, we've seen we've been seeing this more often now. Mm -hmm. Like. Would you see yourself doing something like that? Yeah, I done did it. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. With who? With OMB Peasy. Hmm. Yeah, it's my first one. Like, my first Why one. Peasy, though? Why not? Young nigga. Uh, I don't know. Because he young? No, nah, I'm, just, I'm just making up shit. You ask me why <laughs> not. I'm trying to give you some answer. I don't know. I fuck with Peasy. Yeah. Um... 
So, but I'm saying like, why not like maybe somebody bigger? Old, yeah, not bigger, but like older, right? Like more seasons. Like somebody like you've been working with like a, of course, Lucci book, but like Future got what he got going on. Um, um but like got to ask bro that man. But not them per se. Like somebody mm. around that, like a scooter maybe. Like a, I don't know. I never add. I never brought it to his attention. I never brought it to his attention. Mm. But um, that that's something we could definitely see in the future, though, for sure. You see yourself doing more more of those projects? Yeah, yeah. Who who? Just curious, because I, I don't know who does that belong to. Is that fifty fifty rights, or is that still majority of the producer? Um, when it comes to the business, when that when when you uh, majority of that is is basically the same type of layout. Um, split wise It's all about What the other producers If you decide to Collab with any other It's up to them Like how they Negotiate that mm -hmm. So I mean As far as what the artist does What Future does Is what he What he retained But whatever Metro did Now I was asking that Because at that point Because I know a lot of times The producer get most of the bag And you can correct me if I'm wrong Because I, I don't know Too much about this But I think the producer Get most of the bag But the artists Get their money on the back end Because they could do Shows and shit <coughs> But if what you doing, if you're doing a collab album, then mm -hmm. now the power becomes yeah, they, and the producer, yeah, producer because they can more, go shows too. Producer now. get more oh well, yeah, in his case, because you never seen a producer do that. Yeah. Metro pretty much started that. You know what I mean? So you know you haven't seen any producer do that. Like who before Metro has done that? Uh like Timbaland, they were on the record. What well, do you call? Do you call DJ Khaled a producer? Do you call like a a, a DJ drama? Like do you call yeah, them producers? Producing isn't always just making the beat though. Producing producing isn't just making the beat. Making the beat is part of that shit. But nowadays you don't have like you don't have like that create creativeness anymore. Like everybody just want to go in the booth, rap, and and be over with. Like like. Look at what J. Cole does. Like, I've heard that J. Cole, he has like a group of motherfuckers in his sessions and they pick and pluck from each other. Kind of like Kanye West. Right. Like, that's producing to me. Mm. That's producing, period. Like, ain't no other way around that shit. Like, you can't just get in front of the mic and then it be, you know, and then you just let it be that. Like, you gotta, you know, you gotta tweak it. Here and there. So you look at it like from a real art form. Hell yeah. I feel like hip hop make it hard to be artists in that way because like the moment somebody write for you, then they got a ghostwriter. Like the, it's like it's too many, sh too many rules in this shit. Shit, yeah. Nowadays, because social media just exposes everything. Like they, how somehow they find out the ghostwriter over here. I mean, that's been going on. Mm. That's been going on. Like you got writers and all of that. Like, Back in the day, like you had people write stuff, like even back way before, like the Motown days, like people were writing these songs for for for, for the groups and stuff. Mm. So it's that ain't nothing new. Okay, okay, that ain't nothing new. Damn, damn, bro, I like this dog. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Let me ask you this then, mm -hmm. cause I I always I always say this mm -hmm. when it come to when it come to music. Mm -hmm. Give me, no, I'm going to say producers. I'm going to say producers. Right. When it kind of producers, mm -hmm. who better than Virginia? I think Dr. Dre got y'all, man. Dr. Dre got y'all, dog. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm not from Virginia, but so you said you would go Dr. Dre over Virginia? Hell yeah. That's Missy Elliott. Fuck that's that. Timbaland. Fuck that. That's Pharrell. I'm sorry. No disrespect, but no, not literally, but Dr. Dre is the the God, dog. And Damn. my my that's my pick. Dr. Dre over the entire Virginia. Over the entire Virginia. Shit. So who are your top five producers? My top five. Um Dre. Number one. Yeah, he number one. Um, nobody has ever asked me this. Nobody ever asked you this? Mm-mm. Damn. Dr. Dre, 
Dang, you said five? Top five. Or give me, or we can make it easy. Give me your Mount Rushmore. That's four. Okay, Dre. The kings of this shit that need a statue on the mountain somewhere. Um, That's hard. Uh, I say Swiss. I say Swiss. I get the Swiss. Dr. Dre, Swiss. Um, DJ Toon, the God. Uh, Kanye, for sure. So that's four. That's Mount Rushmore. Yeah, that's that's it. So well, say it. Yeah, again. that's it. Dr. Dre, Swiss Beats, DJ Toon, Kanye. Can't be bad at that. Oh, you can be. They, oh, okay. Who you? Okay. Who 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 better than them four? Who better than them four? Nobody, dog. Who is who is you said? Who is that? DJ Toon. Yeah, who is that? Ti. You don't know me. What you know about that? All that shit. Kanye. What uh? Kanye. Uh, wait till I get my money right. Okay. Come all right. On, all right. Bro. All right. All right. Come on, Kanye. Going, Kanye know what he's doing. I'm though. going Kanye West. Okay. I'm going uh Pharrell. Okay, yeah. Pharrell. I'm going um I'll go Dr. Dre. I know you will. Uh, I know you will. Okay. <laughs> and my last one is gonna go. It's Mount Rushmore. Yeah. They ain't, they ain't getting they ain't coming off that. They stand there. What's, um, what's the fourth one? Damn, producers. Shit. It's a lot on too. I might have to go, um, what's the light skinned nigga name that played the piano? John Legend? Mm-mm. What's his name? Yeah. Zaytoven? Nah. Uh, Scott Storch. Oh, Scott, Scott Storch. Storch. Yes. I might gotta I might gotta go nah, Dr. He... Dre, Scott Storch, Kanye West, Scott and Pharrell. Storch. Yeah. Scott Storch is crazy. Scott Storch still go crazy. Play if you want. His son, my he even got say, his, he even say got his my son. Mount, my, my, his son even doing beats now. Say my Mount Rushmore not like that. What are we it, talking about? It's like that. Scott Storch, Kanye West, I didn't even, Pharrell. I didn't even don't, it didn't even dawn on me to say Scott Storch now. Yeah, man. Damn. Well, he, the, he the God, too. He okay. He gods, too. All right. I like that, man. I like that. Yo, uh, where would you... How do you like the state of, like, Atlanta hip-hop right now? I don't like it. Really? Why I don't not? like it. Ain't no... Ain't, it's dry right now. Ain't no, ain't no real... I don't know. Maybe because I'm... I don't know. I don't want to look at it as like I'm getting older. Like... I mean, I know nigga, what you're real, getting old. I know what real Atlanta shit's supposed to sound like. Like, this shit whack right now. Like, ain't no real... Who out right now in Atlanta? Name somebody right now that's popping. I'm talking about popping, not that local ass shit, little Instagram little shit here and there. I'm talking about some real. Little baby still going crazy. I don't know, man. Little um, baby, little baby. I don't know. Why y'all being so hard on little baby, man? Y'all because he because the last album went to me. It didn't it went in no shit for real. I mean, I don't know. You know it. You know nah, it. I mean, I, I, I how, yeah. how you like the, the last album he did? I don't think nothing, to be honest with you, to keep it all the way 100 with you, I don't think none of this shit is rememberable. Like, none of this shit is playback right, worthy. Shit, be real. Like, this shit straight, straight ass. For real. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean. That shit ass, dog. You can say it. This nigga is crazy, bro. Like, he's... Like, this nigga is like... I thought I was bad. This shit <laughs> like, ass, I'm trying bro. to have fun with like, him, but like... Real, that. like Motherfucker gonna be mad, but at the same time, like, bro, you, this shit whack, bro. Like, you, like, you I mean, know right? You know, I couldn't you know agree what I more, think, though. though. You know what I think? It'd it be a lot of, it'd be a lot of, like, yes men around. Like, you do a song, motherfucker, just gonna say it's, it's hard because it's who it is. Like, tell that nigga it's, that shit whack, bro. So tell you been in the studio, nigga, told nigga shit was whack. Hell yeah, you ain't never told Future that shit was whack. It wasn't nothing that that wasn't. Now nah, in the beginning, I nah. Let me let me say something. Let me say, I didn't know what the fuck he was doing in the beginning. Cause but then when he dropped that shit though, this is why I was like stuck in like some type of like twilight zone with this shit because it's like people was really reacting to this shit. And if in like next thing you know, he dropped. Um, I, 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 he tell me to come to the studio and he doing the same damn time. This he recording this shit, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck? 
Like, bro, this nigga done what kind? What line he hit or something? You like, did that too? Nah, Sonny did that. I'm not saying you just fucking crazy. It's like he recording this while I'm walking in the studio. I'm like, God damn, bro, this nigga getting better. You know what I mean? And my like, favorite memory of like Future, I never forget, bro. I wasn't the biggest Future fan. Dirty Sprite Two came out, and it didn't even make sense. Like it didn't make sense how. I couldn't fathom that the same person who did Dirty Sprite 1 did Dirty Sprite 2, in my perspective. Yeah. Because like I wasn't the big biggest fan. Yeah. But like Dirty Sprite 2 was really, it's probably one of the greatest albums ever. Mm-hmm. In my, like, so it was so dope to see somebody that I wasn't a fan of mm-hmm. create something that was something that was undeniable. Mm-hmm. Like, have you ever felt that way about like an artist or anything? Yeah, hey, yeah. Him? That's who I started with. You feel me? That nigga, yeah. Damn, bro. So you got the shit coming out with uh, PZ. What else you got going on, man? Um, um, working with Dirk. Um, we knocked out some shit. Some crazy ass shit. How you still getting all this work to this they day? They call me. Like, they call me, man. Like, the crazy part about it, when I first met Dirk, it was some years ago. Um, DJ Bands reached out to me on Twitter. He's like, Will, man, I need your number. I need your number. Um, we in Atlanta now. Uh, I want you to pull up, bro. I want you to pull up because they was like in Chicago still when when they was talking to me, and um, I would just send them shit. And um, what did he drop? He dropped something that was um, make it out. I don't know if you heard of that. Make mm-hmm. it out. I don't think so. He did that, and then next thing you know, they they moved here. They like, bro, we in the A, bro. Like, pull up on us, pull up on us, and um. I met him over at Main Street. And first thing Benz asked me, I'll never forget this. She said, hey, man, you got any beef with niggas out here? I'm like, bro, this Atlanta. Like, ain't nobody beefing out here like that, you know? He's like, man, you know, I'm just, just, just need to know, man. Woo, woo. He like, come on, come on to the back. Shit, we go. I go to the back, chop it up with bruh, you know. He he let me hear some shit. And um, we get to working, you know what I mean? And shit, it was just on and popping from then, like six, seven years ago. Damn. Mm-hmm. So is it ever, it's never a drop? Ain't never a drop. Like niggas always, like you ain't never, um, you ain't never like uh, trying to beat down somebody's phone. To- I'm blessed, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. It's it, It's been nothing but a blessing like to even be like going this long because like a lot of niggas don't even be lasting a year, bro. Mm. I done did this shit for down there like 10, 12 years, you feel me? Yeah, no, this shit is... You feel me? Like, I ain't... No, nah, it's been almost... Yeah, I've been almost 14, 14 years. Yeah, yeah 14. Yeah. yeah, come on, bro. Like, it's straight a straight blessing. Like, for real, for real. Damn. A straight blessing. Do you feel though. the energy, though? Like, do you feel the respect? Do you feel the... um? Hell yeah, yeah, like, for them to actually be reaching out like that. like. But bro. from everybody else, like, from the public sense, like, from the consumer, do you feel it, like... Like, feel what? Like, the energy, the, the respect. Do you... Hell yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Like I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I be looking at comments on YouTube and shit. Motherfuckers be saying like, "Oh yeah, we're fool." Like I really get a lot of love, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like I, I just need to pump myself up. You know what I mean? Cause I need to do that. You know what I mean? I'm happy I could be a part of this shit. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like hey, this shit man. is fire. Like hey, I love yeah. um just like I'm still climbing. I'm still growing myself. So I love like. Finding out new things, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and, and and learning new shit, and and who was behind what, and how this orchestrated and shit like that. So mm-hmm. like it's super dope that like I could talk to you and I could even like still learn about like history and shit. I'm like man, that shit fire, like yeah, hey, yeah. Like I know it's probably a lot of shit I'm I'm leaving out, but it's just so much shit over the years, bro. You know what I mean? I just have to refresh my memory. Nah, I mean, well, I mean, you got you can come it's back so again, bro. Shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you don't yeah. got you know what I'm saying? We it's just enough. like, yeah, it's so much shit I can tell you, but you know, it be so it's just so much in my brain, bro. Nah, you on PZ shit gonna be that's gonna be a whole nother another situation. Like that's gonna be a whole nother Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. I fuck with bro. Like he he a real nigga, bro. Mm. He a real he a real nigga. Like I I see like I see a lot of myself like in him, like like what it, what he goes through, like Industry wise, like I, I see my a lot of myself in that shit. Mm. It's like I don't know, like I think, bro, like bro, don't I don't know, like get a fair sh- shake and shit. Mm. In my opinion, 
I mean, and I believe that's that's why I, like I I I I I I get the same type of you know what I'm saying shit too like motherfuckers don't want to give motherfucker they fair shake because they know nigga great you know what I mean so they it's like motherfuckers Bro, you try to keep don't you. try to put yourself in that box long sorry I ain't about to let you do that to him or what? yourself. What you mean? You, bro, you already got your fair shake. No, nah, right, but it's like, how can I how can I explain this shit? Like, Please explain it, because nigga. Because I don't want to make it come out wrong. Like, Just say it. It's cool. We've been chopping it up. Like, like, you said Lil Baby Project was trash. Like, so nigga, it's you like, can say it's like, the fuck else. It's like, Atlanta, like, Atlanta is like one of those clickish, it's a clickish city, bro. So if you're not fucking with them, it's like, ah. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get, I get exactly. So it's like, until you really get to that point where like, they at on a fake level. they need level, you, yeah. It's like, oh, what's up? You know, yeah. that fake shit that you that we was talking about. Yeah. So it's like, me and Peasy like real niggas, bro. And I ain't with that fake kicker shit. Like, fuck you. Like, I ain't I ain't with all that. Like, I'm not. No, I get it. You ain't got it. Like, ain't the never industry, got it. this shit's, shit's weird, bro. Like, it's weird. Weird as fuck. So you you still like you feel like you still get that energy though. Like be specific, like weird yeah. energy. Like yeah, yeah, it's weird. This this shit weird, bro. Like this shit weird. But as you hell. got some of the biggest niggas beating down your phone, so that's why I'm trying yeah. to. Yeah, it's yeah, like it's gonna always be business. And I'm not saying that nah, them some those some real niggas too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But the industry shit is what I'm talking about. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'm making. I'm it trying clear. to follow you because, like, for me, industry shit is like. I try. You to get just it. had to be in it to understand what I'm talking about. Like, it's just weird shit, bro. Like, weird shit. I mean, I get. <laughs> I get the weird shit. Trust me, I get the weird like, shit. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, because it's all industry related, like yeah. podcast and all this shit. Industry, like, it's like you going trying to go do something with somebody and they just be on weird shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, who got time for that? It's just funny hearing that come from somebody that, that has records with Ride Wave, Lord Dirk, Future. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it not it, not saying it, it it's gonna get weird with you. Like like it's gonna get weird. Like not with them, so to say. Like cause those those guys are some real niggas mm -hmm. for sure. Like they like they gonna pick up the phone. Like whatever they gonna call me. Whatever you know what I mean. Those niggas real, but it's just that other fake kicking shit and. I don't know, man. I can't even des describe it because I don't understand it myself. Mm. You know what I mean? No, nah, man. This shit is good, bro. Damn, man. This is fire, bro. You really a motherfucking living legend. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This shit hard, People bro. say that shit, but I think I still got a lot more to do, though. Mm. I mean, what you? I mean, what is it that you got to prove and what you got to do? You know what? I want to really, really put out an artist, bro. And I want to, I want to, I want to, like, Cause producing has just got so watered down, like, bro, just open it, yeah, just open it, bro. It got so watered down, like everything I feel like got watered down. Like what? Like, motherfuckers would rather like take the pennies just to be a part of this shit versus like maintaining your value. Like the value, I feel like of being a producer has dropped because you got these other these up and coming producers. They will undercut somebody who's who's gonna value their shit, and the label just deal with them because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they'll just undercut that motherfucker just to be a part of something. So they they be done gave up whatever just to be a part of this album or whatever, mm -hmm. or this artist just to be just to just be in front of them, just to be a part of some shit. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, even with DJing, like, DJs will make good money in the club, but now you got these other guys that are undercut the DJ yeah, for no, less. Fact. No, that's but that's every every industry. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, it got watered down. Like, now you got loop makers. Wait, what? Loop makers. Like, the loop on a song. Yeah, like, they make loops and shit. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't even understand. I don't either. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. 
And then they, it did when it come down. To, like, man, I done did. Like, I get, I get paperwork right, and it'll show like, like certain things. Like these niggas be taking, they be taking pennies, bro, mm. just to be a part of some shit. And what the label, label gonna be cool with it? Cause they saving money. Yeah, but whole time you don't even gotta do that because. Like they the label got the budget. They, yeah. they gonna pay for what they want. Depending on the artist and the budget, they gonna pay. They gonna pay you. You know what I mean? Labels don't really, when it comes to that type of shit, they don't play with you. You know what I mean? They gonna, they gonna, they gonna. Yeah, no, I was actually you, sitting in one of the meetings before and um just hearing them. They like, yo, how much is this? Okay, cool. We gotta. You know what I'm saying yeah. like they just be like, cool. If they want something, they gonna pay it. They yeah, gonna drop they got the, the budget. Bag. You know what I mean? Damn. Even if. Man, even if it ain't there, if they think that's what that that's what they want, they gonna find a way. You to think that messes you up sometimes though, because you got the knowledge and it's like, bro, no, I'm not taking anything. You think that oh, like kind of fuck you up? They don't play with me. They don't play with me. So you never like ran into a situation where like you just not willing to cut your price and like nah, hell nah, they ain't playing. See, I ain't, they ain't playing with he me. He keep trying to comp- like don't compare you, bro. Nobody can relate, bro. Like you was you was one of the niggas that niggas is looking up to. Yeah, you can't say you like. Yeah, me and PZ, like we like I like I hit him like he like me, nigga. No, that nigga probably still like, struggling like, like with these like, niggas. Like, like you on the top. Like no, I'm not saying like in a sense like that, but is I mean even at my level like it, it be some weird shit, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It be weird shit going. I can't. I, can, I that's the only way I can describe it, bro. It's just weird ass. Shit. Yeah, it be weird shit on every level. No cap, for real. You know? Nah, man. But I, bro, I, I believe, bro. Like, and I told him like. Like when he 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 get out of this whole little shit, bro. Like on the other side, when this shit is over, bro, it's just gonna be probably one of his biggest hits, bro. Mm. I believe I believe that's gonna happen for him, mm. and I want it to happen. You know what I mean? And then you gonna he go all the people on his dick. Like y'all wasn't fucking with me before. You yeah. feel me? Fuck y'all yeah. niggas, man. Like fuck out of here. She nah. don't like drop your, like let his nuts hang on them folk, bro. No, like facts. and do and do him. Oh, we you know looking I mean? forward to the project, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. This is good, yeah. bro. You, bro, you could you could pull up again, bro. This shit was good, dog. Sure, sure. For the people that don't know, let them know how to follow you and everything. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Willafool, W-I-L-L-A-F-O-O-L. Same on Twitter and Facebook. This shit was good, man. We just gonna keep on getting them hitting gems, man. Yeah. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, Willafool is a rap. We out. Right. That was good, bro.